So I went to university, but I was there for about three months and I just hated everything about it, the university life, the, the course and everything, it just wasn't for me. So I got the courage to <laughs> tell my parents that I wanted to, to leave the conventional university um, and then I found the National Design Academy uh, online. Um, so I moved on straight with the in-studio diploma, um, which I did about six years ago now. And I met some amazing friends there, actually, who I'm still friends with <laughs> on Facebook and everything, and we still converse and, and chat and catch up. Um, and then I went straight from that into the BA Honours degree in interior design. The plan, because I live really close to a train station, um, which has a direct line to London Waterloo, about 40 minutes, um, was to go and get a job in London. Um, and obviously COVID had <laughs> different plans. So I thought, okay, well, I've been working for about four years on the diploma and degree. I have a little bit of a break, thinking COVID would be around for about three weeks. <laughs> um, and obviously that period of COVID just went on and on and on. So I decided to um, start offering my work on sort of Facebook for local people for free. And then I did it for £50 a room and just in, still with the aim to build up a portfolio to take to an employer in London whenever COVID ended. Um, but obviously that never happened, so it just sort of developed into, into a brand and yeah, it completely evolved from there. There was no plan, it was just completely fortuitous that the way it went is how it went. I've got my own business now, so Mackenzie Page Interiors. I work with clients of all different budgets, mainly residential, um, and it's, yeah, it's flying. I'm very, very lucky that it is flying. I seem to have a rolling sort of three to four month waiting list, so it, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> what excites me about interior design is probably the different sort of possibilities that you can do with different things. It's really interesting because with all my clients now, I can go into a space and I never give anything away on sort of like a first consultation or whatever, I'm just taking notes and photos. But then whatever I present to them, it's always completely different to what they've had in their sort of in their mind and in their imagination. I always seem to thankfully touch wood hit the brief. Um, but it's always different to what they have in their minds. So I think it's quite interesting and exciting to see how different things can be di sort of conveyed differently really. Um, so even I, I sort of play piano and I play that by memory and everything. I learn the sh I, I, I can read the music and everything but I learn the shapes of my hands and the, and the chords and everything and I feel that sort of it's the same with interior design. Once you can understand the map that you've got to work with. I'm quite good at being able to visualise where things need to be. And often that is different to what, to what they think or be able to sort of guide people away. It's <laughs> I, there's a lot of people, not so much anymore, but when I first started, wanted sort of the white and grey rooms, the Instagram rooms, which, you know, everybody's obviously got their own taste and everything, but there's, to me there's not sort of much depth to them or anything, but being able to sort of guide somebody away from the glitzy grey and white sort of interior and put in some other textures and stuff that they wouldn't have thought of just to give it more depth and make it look more sort of sophisticated and everything, it's sort of, yeah, it's quite exciting to, to be able to guide people in that way. Through the National Design Academy's Instagram, you can search the hashtag MyNDAday, there's hashtag National Design Academy, there's all sorts. Um, so through clicking on those, you're able to find actually quite a lot of other students. So I found two particular students um, who we somehow just sort of, we just clicked, we've still never met because of COVID, but we've been chatting now for probably about three years over sort of WhatsApp and Facebook and everything and yeah we just sort of get on so well so we helped each other with the degree in terms of you know help me understand what this this project or this question means um, and we still chat to this day and now all three of us have got our own businesses so it's gone very well for all of us. <laughs>